Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to disable depth of field and motion blur in Fallout Cybertron. This makes the game look way better, it improves performance, and I very much recommend doing it. Real quick, I'll just put some comparisons up on the screen. We have no choice, Bumblebee. In my opinion, it just makes the game look way better, so let's begin. So, for this tutorial, you're going to need the decoder and encoder for your call set, which I'll leave a link to in the description. So you want to download that, you're going to want to copy it, and you're going to want to go into your Fall Cybertron folder. So for me, that's in Games, and Transfers Fall Cybertron, and then Transgame, Config, PC, Cooked. And once you're in this folder with your call set, you can paste in the decoder and encoder. And before we do anything with that, I want you to make a folder in here. You can call it anything, but it's a backup folder for your call set. So in case you want to revert it or you do something wrong, get your call set from this backup. So copy your call set, put it in this folder, and it'll be there for safekeeping. You can also put it somewhere else, you can put it on your desktop, just anywhere to where you're not going to lose it. So once we do that, we can open up the decoder and encoder. Click decode. And you want to find where you have your game, or where you have your call set in your game. So for me, once again, games, Vault Cybertron, trans game, config, PC cooked. Click on your call set, click open. And then in the file name box down here, make sure it says callset.txt, click save, click OK. You can close out of the decoder now. And you should have a new text file in here. You can open it up. So, this is how you will always decode your call set from now on. So, whatever changes you want to make to it, you do it in here. But today I'm just going to show how to uh, make the game look a bit better. So hold Control and press H and it'll bring up this replace box. In the find what box here, type depth of field equals true. And with the replace with box, put depth of field equals false. Make sure it's done exactly like this. This is just replacing every line of this in the call set with false, so it completely disables depth of field. Click replace all. And there you go. You've disabled depth of field. And then if you want to disable motion blur, do the same thing. Motion blur equals true. Replace with motion blur equals false. Click replace all again. And it should be replaced now. Now if you want to check this, you can hold Control and press F to bring up a find box and search for motion blur or that the field equals false. Find it. And there you go. Motion blur is false, depth of field is false. So you've disabled it in the text file, but I'll show you how to re-encode this text file into your call set. You save it, close out, and delete your old call set the I and I. Then open up the decoder and encoder again, click encode, click on the call set, click open, and then save it as callset.ini. And you should see a new call set appear. It's modified at the exact time that you encoded it. And that's all you need to do and open up your game. It should look a little bit sharper, and it should perform a little bit better. I'll put some more before and afters on the screen now. War is lost. Leaving our home is the hardest decision I've ever had to make. It has been a long, painful war with the Decepticons. Whatever lies beyond that portal is our best and last hope, my friend. We're approaching the portal. That indicates it's growing more unstable. At this rate, it may close before we even get there. Megatron. Direct all fire on the 
those tow cables. All hands to combat. Bumblebee, you with us? Optimus, he's coming around. Thank the Maker. He's been through worse. Voice chip is still crushed. Nothing new there. Base energon levels are almost normal. Overshields are charging up. I need to test your retinal scanners. Follow the light. All of my subjects. Onslaught and his combatant chose to disobey my...